I was crossing a street and two police cars went flying by and I was like, whoa. So I looked really carefully again, stepped out and a police bike just came from behind the bus and my leg just flew. She'd had multiple injuries. I mean, she'd lost her limb. She had a fractured pelvis, which is, is severe in its own case. She'd had a punctured lung. So really, uh, on, on the trauma scoring, she scored quite high. I went there and I had a fully blown infection again. I'd been on antibiotics for three months. Mm. I turn up there and they say, get off the antibiotics immediately. They start crushing up garlic and oil and uh, shoving it on my wound. Within five days, I was completely healed. That's so good. why drink the milk of a cow when you can eat the things that they eat yeah. directly and get the full protein well, from it? It's, it obviously has worked for you. You look great. teaspoonful of milk could contain up to two million pus cells. Next time you go to purchase a pint of milk, why not try a non-dairy alternative? I got a videotape sent to me um, 11 months ago from Dennis Erdman, who was one of the directors of Sex and the City, and he had been at our benefit for Landmines and said, look, you seem to make campaigns work, you've got to help us. And I get asked things every day, but when I watch these images of Alsatian um, puppies and golden retrievers being skinned alive in China for fur to be brought over to Europe, um, I was just horrified and had to get behind it. Since we showed that video, it always gets me every time. I watch it, I watched it so many times and I just can't believe it. It's just people for fashion. Please boycott J. Crew until they actually find some warmth in their heart to stop using fur. Why would you buy clothes Guys, from the shop? Please leave the store. Please leave the store. What? This is done call for. You can you can protest all you want outside but not in the store. And three months after Heather's New York protest, J. Crew decided to remove fur from their stores right across America. Meanwhile, Heather, along with her sister Fiona, is preparing for the final push towards a European ban in the trade of dog and cat fur. You know, it's bad enough they oh do it in China, God, but 
you know, the Commission have always said, well, you know, it happens in China, it happens in China but it doesn't happen but in now Europe. It's happening here. Heather has made such a difference to this campaign that I believe now we're at the point of getting a decision out of the Commission. Now, what we have to make sure is that it's the right decision. An EU wide ban on the import, export, and trade in cat and dog skins. We knew that people would be moved when they saw the visuals of these atrocious acts on dogs and cats. But I was very surprised that 250,000 people signed that quickly. And the support that we had was unbelievable. And in 2007, the European Parliament voted overwhelmingly to endorse new regulations to block cat and dog fur imports at the border.